Trevor. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What's wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Cheng and his <laughs> humble servant. Hey, no uh, show. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Oh, nice, right? Oh, <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. Sufang! The tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little free clean? They really want you dead.
bill. You've gone and made this. Report. We gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> I think we have seen quite enough. Gaito. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor. Are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. This. 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 This statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity-leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? Cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield.
boom in your ear when I get a hold of you. Ow! What are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a run. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. That's the chestnut. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? They won't hear me coming. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. you're hunting, four legs or two, we've got you covered. That's you all done. The craftsmanship speaks for itself. The penis substitute selection. out for you. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. You get a better view from the top. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. Well, get a move on! I'm moving! 
Just keep me covered, okay? Hold up! There's a guard standing under the control tower! Shove mine up your ass. There's one. Lights There's off. Good. Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. If I point my gun at you, I'll pull the trigger. Oh, fire. We gotta see what he's up to. Fuck me! Sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! Clean shot, Trev! Another guy's coming out of the tower! Must be looking for the one you shot! And they all came tumbling down! Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! You're in my crosshairs again! There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's another guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Here, by the road! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Trevor! You see me? Can you see me? Over by the road! Oh no! Big dick! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? steps. 
traps. Good kill, Trevor. You want me to shoot you in the behind? Hurry up, will ya? You hear that? I can hear an engine. They'll see that body. Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious. Run light. The ones under the tower. You got him. Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Sailor. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man! I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. There's a second guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor.
Hold my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. I'll do my best to oblige you. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or there are other neighbors. Those in the south are Mexican Revan. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sure I was. There's a fire in the water. I'm guessing it's them. That's him. Let's do it. Fort Sancudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar.
guy who's taking receipt of these guns. I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south. where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. Someone's out there and wants us to know it. You think it's the buyer? Affirmative. Make the drop. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth.
I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, mm -hmm. managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know, I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds, they're not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah, they need guns, bro. So many guns. But luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, it's gonna be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export store. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great.
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right. <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how...
brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Brothers, you got you inbred freaks. larger operation than me. You want to see competition in the marketplace? Where is everyone? Fuck. Here I come, you pricks! Brothers, you got you inbred freaks. Tears here to kill you. for you. See competition in the marketplace. operation to me. Let's go then! Fucking get him! Get 
your own fucking business! O'Neal's! Get the hell out of here! Oh! Take over time! in the land! but a smoldering fucking rack. Everything you've built, see how it feels.
get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked a teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe. But she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I keep finding a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um. <laughs> go, go, go. We're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? We need some wheels. Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh... What's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, uh... I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kinda wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the Lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Hey, hey. The Lost Camp. Who's 
with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my bow in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, see? Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No way! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy... <laughs> a boy called Trisha. Trisha! Trisha, boy, This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. 
Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where... else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while, until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping, maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went suck. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on the I find map. I'll give you directions. This one's a riot. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he stands. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and it's... Woo-hoo! Again, again! And his coach had a... I had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat... He met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? 
Trevor? Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too.
There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. I had a nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabienne. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, a. Uh, she's, a. Uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now, where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go. Come on. All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. You're a model husband and a wonderful... Nice driving. And then a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. Don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up hand You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. Don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what, a week? 
Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <sighs> yes, sirree. Okay, this'll be it. The Mays Bank Arena. Let's find them. Come on, come on, come on! You can't park there! Production vehicles only! Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. These people are quiet. Auditions, Fame or Shame, Season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Uh, hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, oh. a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Tracy, come back here! They took our ride, we take their truck. There, we take the truck. I got a deposit on that truck! Get that prick. 
He took a left. We'll go faster without that trailer. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stuff. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Hey, take a left up here. Hey, hey! Look at him. He's on the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush this little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? We gotta go to the left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrite, mm hmm? I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. 
Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. The guy who pays the bills is here.